One additional note to this detox pathway conversation, and if you're just hopping in, this is part three, or maybe four. I'll link the previous video down in the description. But detox pathways are critical for cancer. A lot of times in our society, we cut out cancerous cells, but we rarely question why those cancerous cells developed in the first place. And if you or someone you love is or has been through cancer, I am so sorry, my heart goes out to you. I have had many family members in that situation and it is horrible. And if we really wanna get in front of reoccurrence, we need to start thinking about what caused the cancer. It's actually more rare than you think that genetics alone are the reason. And one of the biggest contributing factors has to do with these four detox pathways. Because toxins back up and then cells start behaving a little funny over time. So one of my personal things that I do in order to reduce my risk of cancer is focus on those four detox pathways every single day. As a refresher, that's making sure I poop one to three times a day, that I drink enough filtered water, that I'm having regular visits to the restroom to urinate, that I am sweating most days, if not every day, and that I can sweat easily, and that I'm taking deep inhales and exhales every single day. And while it is important to reduce our exposures to toxins, part of living in our modern society is that we are exposed to things. So it's critical that we are treating our bodies well enough that they are able to keep up with this toxin exposure. And most of us have quite a backlog from a lifetime of not really knowing that these are the things we need to pay attention to and focus on. If you want more tips on hormone health and how to detox, go ahead and hit the like button, make sure you follow.